What's up everyone, this is Andre from Indie Arts Midwest and in this tutorial we are going to rig a basic bicycle setup. As a disclaimer, this tutorial is heavily inspired by references from this YouTuber who I will link in the description. I will not cover rigging the bike chain or any suspension setups. I am well aware of other wheel setups like this or this. And following this tutorial also assumes that the user has basic knowledge of the Blender interface. Let's begin. After importing your file, in my case it's OBJ format, we can begin setting things up. As you can see, the mesh isn't centered so I take a moment to reposition. Now let's focus on getting the center of the wheels and pedals. Select the rear wheel and tab into edit mode. Zoom in and alt right click the center section or similar based on design. Shift S and send the cursor to the selected. Tab back, go to the object tab, select set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Feel free to test it by rotating on the Y axis. Repeat the same process for the front wheel. Edit mode, alt right click and select the center. Shift S to send cursor to selected. Tab back to object mode. Go to the object tab. Select Set Origin and Origin to 3D Cursor. Similar to the wheels, we go to Edit Mode on the pedals and find the center. Due to its design, I use Vertex Mode to Alt-Right Click to loop select these vertices. Shift-S, Cursor to Selected, Object Mode, Select Object, Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor. For the handlebars, I need to edit the mesh a bit to suit the rig setup. You may or may not have to do this depending on how your mesh is modeled. The remaining frame can be left alone unless you plan on performing a more complex setup, but at this point, it stops here essentially. Great, so now we have our pieces prepared and next we can move on to creating vertex groups for each piece. This setup is very basic so I feature the steering, front wheel, frame, rear wheel, chain for later setup outside of this tutorial, pedal gear, right pedal, and left pedal. We are now ready to add the armature. Shift A and add armature. From front view, I rotate 90 degrees. Tab into edit mode, and with the bone selected, shift D to duplicate and move it up a bit. Tab back to object mode, select the rear wheel, followed by shift S, cursor to select it. Then select the armature, and select the second bone. Go into top view, rotate 90 degrees or minus 90. It's your choice, I don't judge. Shift S, selection to cursor, Shift D and move the new bone over a bit. We follow the same process for the front wheel and pedal gear. For the pedals, I had to go in and find the center on the back end of this cylinder. Then repeat these steps in setting the cursor and placing the duplicated bone in its place. For the steering, we take a look at the angle and look for a place to set the cursor.
As you can see, I loop select a spot below the handlebars and just as before, we set the cursor and move a duplicated bone with Shift S, selection the cursor. Once moved, we go back to the mesh in edit mode, loop select a lower section, set the cursor, select the armature, edit mode, select the tail end of the steering bone, and shift S, selection the cursor. The armature is now complete, and in this case, only requires seven bones. While in edit mode, let's go ahead and name the bones. My main and centered bone is always B underscore root. Everything else keeps B underscore name, so for example, B underscore FW for front wheel, B underscore RW for rear wheel, etc. Now let's set up bone relations. While in edit mode, select the front wheel bone, go to relations, set to B underscore steering bone. For the steering bone, set to B underscore root. Pedal gear set to B underscore root. Right pedal set to pedals bone. left pedal set to pedals bone rear wheel set to B underscore root great now we're ready to rig this thing so we first select all of the bike parts and control J to join Doing so also combines their vertex groups together, so feel free to check the list to see if it's all there. We then shift select the armature and control P to parent with empty groups. Select the mesh and tab to edit mode. Go to vertex groups. Select each section and assign it to its accompanying bone. Once complete, all bones should rotate correctly on their own or solely based on the B underscore root bone. I also added a bezier circle and scaled it up a bit to act as a parent to the armature and for later use. Next we will add bone constraints starting with the rear wheel by adding a transformation constraint with the target being the bezier circle. Set the target to local space. Owner to local space. We will check extrapolate. Map from location on the X axis with a minimum of 14 and a maximum of minus 14. We will set map to rotation and change the X source axis to Y and the Y source axis to X with a minimum of 360 and a maximum of minus 360 and leave the Z alone. We do the same thing for the front wheel.
pedal gear bone is basically the same for its constraints. However, we change the map from section to 7 instead of 14 and minus 7 instead of minus 14. For the steering bone, we set a limit rotation constraint with the owner with local space, X and Z checked. This should also cause the front wheel to turn as well. For the left and right pedals, we set a limit rotation with the X and Y boxes checked, effect transformation checked, and the owner will be world space. At this point, the wheels and pedal gear should spin along with the movement of the Bezier circle. Let's fix those pedals by going into edit mode. Select each pedal's vertex group and rotate 90 degrees. If you don't have this issue, then disregard this step. The bike rig is now complete. For further tweaking, you can create a basic animation to check your constraint settings. I hope you found this tutorial informative and best of luck in your own projects. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.